this project um, has has uh, myself, Stephanie Musaki, Des Lane, Sarah Sarah, who's in Stephanie Musaki's program, and Tori Schmidt from the Washington Tree Fruit Commission. And that's a two-year project. And then it was funded by the Washington Tree Fruit Research Commission and supported by McDougall and Sons, who is hosting us in this orchard, and Wilson Irrigation, who provided the, the shade house structures at the, the Tree Fruit Research and Extension Center in Wenatchee. This project has, has three main objectives, and it's to focus on or understand the impact of netting on the microclimate under the netting versus outside the netting, and to understand how that change in microclimate, change in temperature, change in humidity, change in wind speed, change in the light environment, and how all that translates into the effect on the physiological status or the photosynthetic activity of the tree. And then lastly, how, that, how changes in photosynthetic, photosynthetic activity and productivity translate into changes in fruit quality, storability, and pack out for the grower. The supplier of the netting mentioned that the red color should help with, with coloring a fruit. Um, that's something we're going to look at and test. But that's, that's kind of the, the indication that we're going to get is that the red should help with color. But it seems to increase the, I don't know, the, the, the warmness under the, not, not the temperature, but, but it, it doesn't seem to help the sunburn as much as, as, say, the blue netting, which seems to be cooler.